Hace poco tuvimos la oportunidad de entrevistar a dos miembros del equipo de Hearthstone, un desarrollador senior y un artista que da vida a cada una de nuestras amadas cartas. Una entrevista sumamente divertida, la cual te la compartimos hoy. Te invitamos a ser parte de esta travesía, así que toma asiento, ponte cómodo, prende los subtítulos y disfruta de los siguientes minutos. Fans of World of Warcraft, like a lot of us are, it's, it's kind of a set that we knew we wanted to do for a long time, right? Like go to Ice Crown, right? Uh, so there's also there's a lot of excitement with that, but there's also a lot of expectation. So I think uh, you know, making it Hearthstone, doing these Death Knights, right? Each class, super excited, right? Because it is such a big piece of the World of Warcraft, right? Like the Lich King himself, probably you could argue the biggest character in World of Warcraft. So we knew we had to execute uh, in a way that you know was was uh, a plus, right? So uh, yeah. So we, you know, about a year ago, we started exploring this path of hey, what if we kill all of the heroes of Warcraft and brought them back as uh, you know the Lich King's Death Knights, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. and so we wanted to do something like that that was epic that players would love and uh, so far it seems like it's going over pretty well which is cool. So yeah. what what are your expectations uh, for uh, this expansion as a team? Do you think this will become one of the greatest expansions ever? Yeah, we we always hope that for every set, for every right? Set like, like, uh, right? Yeah, it's it's cool. You know, we get excited. We're like, wow, do we have the best one yet on our hands here? Right. Uh, which, you know, it's important to view it that way and to also do new things and try uh, to surprise the players in new ways so that they also get on that page. And so for this set, obviously doing uh, all the free missions with a full expansion, right, was a way that we could kind of up the level of what we're doing. And it was perfect timing for all that too, right, because of this giant epic story uh, with the Lich King. Uh, so being able to do more, to do missions and a full expansion, the timing worked out well. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, It's one of our best, yeah. Yeah, about the uh, well, I'm I'm jumping up ahead here, but yeah, no worries. Actually, about the adventure coming out alongside expansion itself, uh, how much of a challenge it was? Can you can we expect some fun interactions between our Lich King card against the Lich King boss? Yes, yes, <laughs> uh, totally. So it, it is a big challenge. So we've spun up an actual brand new design team. Uh, the mission team, headed by Dave Kosak, who used to be the lead narrator for World of Warcraft, is now working on Hearthstone, which is perfect, right? And he loves exactly what you're talking about, right? Finding those fun, like the Lich King faces uh, Lady Death Whisper or the other copy of Lich King himself, right? <laughs> Finding fun, uh, kind of Easter eggs, what they say to each other. So I, I'm not sure, but he may have put the most in in any expansion we've ever done. So if you can find up there, a lot of fun. Uh, he's a great writer, he's hilarious. Uh, so yeah, this was the perfect opportunity to find wow. a bunch of those Easter eggs. Yeah, really cool. That's really, really fun. Yeah. So uh, about the hero cards, now that we know all of the Dead Knights and all of this uh, fantasy around them. Right. Uh, prior on the other, on previous expansions, we had quest cards, we had now hero cards. Is this something that is going to be around on future expansions or there is the, the hero cards is just something for this expansion? Right, so right now we, we, we are talking about plans to uh, reuse the, the card type hero, but it's certainly not off the table, so we're gonna you know, definitely see how, how it's received here as we get deeper into Knights of the Frozen Throne. But this is exactly the type of stuff we want to keep exploring, is you know, things that can blow players' minds. Uh, it's a great way for us to kind of 
make Hearthstone more itself, right? Like give it more definition. It was a ton of fun working with Jamar and the rest of the team on these heroes. He's actually uh, painted and created all the original concepts for all of those Death Knight heroes. So yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, wow, but yeah, that's, that's exactly amazing. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's amazing. I'm a big fan. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's it's exactly the type of stuff we want to keep doing. So if we go back to, or we don't go back to uh, hero cards, we'll see. But it's the type of direction we want to keep doing. Things that are super fun and new and keep Hearthstone kind of fresh, like quests and, and Death Knight heroes. About the, the Death Knights, which is your favorite Death Knight and why? Okay, okay, I'll take this one. Well, I mean, out of the nine of them, it's hard to choose. I mean, they're all pretty cool. But I will say that Rexar is probably my favorite. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why. I mean, Oh, Rexar, that's a surprise. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. Well, basically, um, I've been playing World of Warcraft since vanilla, and my main character is a hunter. So I kind of gravitate towards hunters naturally that way. Um, and also, I had the privilege of, uh, like Matt said, concepting uh, the, the characters. And he was the one I was able to take to full illustration. So he has like a special place in my heart. So I would say Rexar would definitely be my favorite. Cool. Yeah, for me, uh, you know, I love a lot of them. It was fun uh, exploring each the background, right, and, the, was, and what defined cool. each one and fun, their class absolutely. cards. Yeah, super fun. Uh, my favorite from Concepts, what got me super excited, and I wonder if we're going to share this with the public, we should, but is your original Anduin was just so badass. Like people, you know, the whole team reacted to just like, oh my god, that is awesome. Uh, you know, a lot like the final version, but just seeing that uh, like shadowy version of Anduin, right? This proper young prince turned into a you know evil shadow, <laughs> badass, was super cool. Loved it. Yeah, definitely my favorite yeah, that, concept. That's one of my that's one of my favorite concepts as well. Cool. Uh, I think one of my favorites has been Anduin and Valera on my side. Cool. <laughs> when when we saw Gul'dan turning into a Death Knight. We saw him turning even more evil. How did you came up with that kind of uh, concept on him? Okay, with uh, with Gul'dan it was interesting because, like you said, he's already like a terribly evil evil guy. So like, how do we one like plus one that? And um, what we did was we kind of went to like the different types of Death Knights. So you have an unholy Death Knight, and unholy kind of felt too like Gul'dan already. You know, like the plague and uh, there's just a lot of uh, things that were similar. Um, and then the next would be Frost. And Frost would have been really, really cool, but um, we decided to go with blood. I mean, we take that blood and it's kind of like a, a juxtaposed to what Gul'dan is already, so it just made it even more menacing and more dark and more evil. I mean, you have Gul'dan plus Vampire, that's just insanely evil. I mean, it just felt right, uh, and it, it, went, it worked out. I, I think that uh, uh, he, he is a menace. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's really cool dread there, but I love it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I know something that some of my friends, uh, Blissholics, and myself used to play a lot of um, kind of a nostalgia game that I actually brought it here, maybe you know it. So <laughs> it's the uh, Assault on Ice Guard Citadel, the raid deck for a oh, yeah. Warcraft oh, yeah. raiding card game. Yeah. That I know Matt used to to work on that, yeah. if I'm the correct. Yes, way okay. back in the day, so, when I was a young man, <laughs> yes. <laughs> we used to love, oh, we used to love that raid, and we still cool. play it here in, in Ecuador sometimes with some, with some friends, because it's really fun to play. So, my question is, if did you take any ideas from this old yet fun game into the adventure or another future like the announced Fires and Brawl, and can you tell us something special from it? Yeah, uh, we, we definitely were inspired by the old versions of Ice Crown. We did a lot of, we actually, the whole team got together, the art team and the design team got together and played through uh, Wrath of the Lich King together. Uh, Brode kind of took everybody through, remind us who Lady Death Whisper, what, what she said, what her lines were, so we did this whole playthrough. So super inspired by the old stuff. And uh, yeah, it was, it was super important to us to, to try to find that, hey, how do we remain true to the original material? Right, make it awesome in a lot of the ways that you know felt right, while also being very Hearthstone. And that a lot of that is where Dave came in too. Dave Kosak, who's now the lead mission designer, uh, making you know he he's talked about this where he wanted to take the Lich King and not really change the fundamentals of the character, but still make him potentially funny, make you laugh. But he's not a, a clown version of the Lich King. He's still you know super menacing, deadly, evil guy. And I think he did that perfectly with the mission. So yeah, finding that mix of what is Ice Crown with what is Hearthstone was a big focus for us. Right, and maintaining that nostalgia was, was important. Yeah. Absolutely. 
that new returning players have found uh, themselves with the pleasant surprise of beating the free prologue and getting a free legendary death knight. Yeah. So this is something for future expansions. We know that they are going to be tied with adventures right. as well. So we are going to see something similar uh, in the similar fashion as Knight of the Pro Center. Yeah. So we don't have uh, specific plans for what we're going to do yet, and. Um, but as we as we find those out, as we as we decide and we uh, are announcing them, you'll definitely find out about them. But yeah, we want to do more stuff that's in that space where people are getting to, you know, participate in the new expansion and the missions for free, right? Just to get to have this, uh, you know, not just a small taste, but a big taste, like you can with the missions in Ice Crown in Knights of the Frozen Throne, right? What is going on? Who are the new characters? What are the new cards? How do they play? What are the new mechanics? So yeah, we're going to be doing that in future sets with, uh, you know, and it may not be the same exact way we did it here, but we'll be doing that when we give people, you know, uh, the experience for free. Yeah. Yeah. That was really amazing, and uh, honestly, yeah. uh, I know that I'm getting a free Death Knight card just when I start the prologue, and maybe a Death Knight card among the 50 packs right. or something. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the first packs, even if it's like legendary, so yeah. uh, we're, really, we're really happy as players, we're really happy on getting that kind of stuff, uh, just so it, it matches the flavor of what is going on in the game right now. Right, exactly, and, that, and, um, and matching is something we want to make sure that people can do, right? Because what is the new set about? It's about becoming a Death Knight, and everybody gets to do that, right? On day one, beat the prologue, which is, uh, you know, like, you lose, but then you win, right? So everybody's going to win. It's, uh, you know, might have to play a second time, but it's pretty easy. So making sure everybody gets to participate was a big focus for us, and seeing everybody go crazy and love it, you know, it's been, uh, been awesome. Yeah. About the new cards, uh, yeah. they promise we have been seeing that they are changing the current meta into something more of a mid-range control style. Mm -hmm. So, what's your approach to kind of freeze the aggro? I get it. I get it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, one of it actually is it actually is one of the goals is that we wanted to. Um, give people good defensive tools for mid-speed and uh, late-game decks so that they could turn into Death Knights and have multiple turns to use their hero power, right? And that's where the five armor for each of the Death Knights comes from. And some of the more defensive cards uh, you know, that you see in each of the classes, that was their goal. And uh, aggro has been quite strong through a lot of Hearthstone's history, so it was something we actually actively worked towards is, hey, let's give tools to the other decks uh, that wanted to play a slower game. And I think it's worked out pretty well. We're going to see where the meta, you know, how it shakes out here in the next few weeks. We're only a weekend, like we've been talking about. But I love that, you know, the Death Knights are viable and that the Death Knights, you know, have been explored. You know, I'm watching streamers and they're exploring each of the classes' Death Knights. So to see those be uh, a part of the meta is fantastic, right? We always want the new set to make an impact and it's great to see Knights of the Frozen Throne do exactly that. That kind of answers my next question, which was which cards do you expect to see a lot of play in the esports scene and why? Yeah, certainly the first one I think I would list is uh, is the Death Knight heroes themselves. Uh, but yeah, love seeing anything that makes new uh, new build arounds, right? Decks that are brand new decks that might not have existed, but you just needed a few more cards to bring to life. Uh, that's what's so much fun about watching for me esports is seeing okay who's running the decks that I've seen before and who's come up with uh, new ideas, stuff that I haven't seen before, and doing well with it, right? I usually root for them. They feel like the underdog when they're running something that's a, you know, a rogue deck. Uh, so yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll see a lot of those cool new build arounds and things that are very definitely Death Knight themed decks uh, show up. I think we will. Question, before a new set comes out, do you have a general idea on how cards will make the current meta how to they impact them? Or do you just expect the best and see how the meta evolves uh, on the time? Right, so the, the, the balance team, super talented team headed by uh, Mike Donay is, uh, that's, that's their goal, right? They're uh, both designing fun, right, making new cards, editing cards, but also balancing. And they will do predictions on what decks they think are going to be good. But of course, they're, uh, you know, literally four guys, so they're, while they're quite talented, they think more in ranges, like, hey, this card might be at this power level, but it might be at this power level, but we think it'll be somewhere in that range. So that's how they think, and then they pay a lot of attention to see how it actually unfolds. And uh, kudos to those guys, I think those throws are playing really well, I've seen a lot of new decks. And they just came off of probably the biggest success in Hearthstone's history when it comes to a diverse meta with Argoro. Just absolutely amazing how many different decks, how much fun a person I've had going into a ranked queue and getting to face you know, a lot of different decks on the other side, and I'm playing a lot of different decks. It makes it a ton of fun, and it's, you know, 
mostly those guys. Those guys are the ones who, you know, created that. So, uh, you know, sometimes I think they're going to hit that well. I don't know if we'll see them do as well as they do with Agoro again, because that's out incredible. But, uh, yeah, they're talented, and that's that's their focus is, you know, figuring out, hey, what's the meta going to be, and make sure it's fun. This is one of my favorite questions that I've been waiting for. Can you tell us, each one of you, a very, very fun moment that you had when uh, you were creating the one card, one specific card maybe, that you loved yeah. in Knights of the Frozen Throne? Yeah. Okay, well, um, you know, I'm usually coming from a, a visual or concept perspective, so um, I think mine would have to be the, the Dreadscale Knight, which is a, a Murloc Death Knight. Um, on a Hearthstone team, we have something called uh, the Murloc Test. And uh, whatever expansion, whatever, whatever we're doing, you know, moving forward, we try to we try to put a Murloc in that situation or, uh, or in that vibe and see if it, how it feels, right? So, you know, Murlocs, I mean, some you can love them, you can hate them, and, you know, you just can't take them too seriously. I mean, it's a Murloc. So you throw Death Knight armor on them, you see how that looks, and uh, that's kind of what, what that card was. And it, it really, um, it kind of shows off the whimsy and fun of Hearthstone. So I, I like those visual uh, uh, gifts. Like, th th those, those are little treats for me. Uh, like there's another card. Uh, you said one, but there's a uh, I forget the name of it because uh, they they change as we see them. But um, there, there's a ghoul making a snow angel. Like those those are the fun moments. Happy ghoul, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the happy ghoul. Yeah. Those are the ones I love the most. So those those <laughs> are the fun times for me. Yeah, super hilarious. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. Speaking of the the, the art and the look, uh, kind of a funny story. So uh, Rexar. We are doing uh, build a beast, right, for Rexar, and so we get the art back for what the beast is going to look like that you make. And of course, we didn't. That's not how it works now. It's the beast that you pick determines the art. But at the time, we thought we were going to use this art that we uh, commissioned to do it. And the art description we made was, hey, we would like to get uh, the zombie version of Misha, Leok, and Huffer all together in one beast. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you know, maybe a three-headed zombie beast, right? This is Rexar has stitched his beast together. And we get the first illustration back, and Ben Brode looks at it and he's like, no, we're not putting this in the game. This is way too sad. You have killed Misha Liak and Alper. What? Like, it's making him literally sad to do it. So it's like, oh, wow, okay. All right, we got to come up with another solution because this is just heartbreaking to see our <laughs> beloved pets, our pets dead. So that's fun. Yeah. And mechanically also it works better to uh, kind of give a clue with the art of what your card does, right? So when you see a poisonous mini, when you see a cobra on the other side of the table, you know that it's going to be poisonous. So it was probably for the best anyways, but just kind of a funny story that we, we got vetoed by Ben Brode on that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's really fun. Um, yeah. Well, finally, about the... The encounters. Now we have the the next wing already open. I haven't played it yet, and I'm really okay. excited to play yeah, it cool. after work. So yeah, that's a, that's another story. Yeah, have fun. Um, cool. I know. I think the only one remaining is Lich King, right? If I'm correct. So mm -hmm. can you give us just a little bit something on which was? Uh, I know it's going to be class based. So uh, which class was the most challenging to design? Oh. The, the encounter, which was the most challenging class encounter to decide there. Oh, okay. Oh, when you're uh, when you're facing the Lich King. Yes. Oh, you know what? Actually, I don't know if we, are we talking about those missions yet. I think we've been keeping them under wraps. Uh, right? We like the final fight is yeah. Lich King, but we don't talk about the fight. Yeah. So yet. yeah. So there, I'll say this. I, I don't know how much we spoiled. There's serious. Absolutely, will make the streamers laugh out loud when they encounter them. But. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we revealed all of uh, all of the the technical stuff, so I don't I don't want to risk giving away too much to spoil yeah, 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 it. No, no, spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> I know that it's going to be yeah. amazing fight. They are going to be challenging yeah. from what you have shown us. The one hero, uh, the when you are playing a mage, you get just one HP, uh, and yep. other pretty, a lot of stuff that we're going to see. So it's going to be a a, a whole different challenge. Yes. So you, is it is it expected just that? Just a, a small percentage of people get Arthas as the as the alternative paladin. Yeah, it's it's actually a real yeah, it's a serious challenge. So not everybody will get it, like you're saying, uh, and it's a pretty sweet reward. So you know maybe if you try enough times, even though it's really tough, more people will get it. We'll see how much people want to try. Uh, yeah, it's fun and has a great reward, but it should, uh, hopefully people see it as a big badge of honor when they do get the Arthas skin. And uh, yeah, the Arthas skin is awesome. So. Well, I don't know. I don't know how many people will get it. We'll see. I'm very curious to find out. And just for closing this uh, amazing, yeah. really amazing interview, because 
really thank you guys uh, yeah, it's thank fun, you for your time here so uh any message that you have for the latin american players that really love the artwork really love all the encounters and what you have been doing with the dead things and everything around this expansion because it has built a lot of hype here that's great to hear yeah yeah it is and um well i'll say i'll say this um with with, with all the hype and all and all the love that that, that is um, the Frozen Throne. Uh, it was a joy to create, uh, and it, it, it brings so much pleasure to know that uh, that you guys are enjoying it as well. Uh, that that makes us feel great as developers. So thank you guys. Yeah, awesome. Great. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for everything. 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 Thank you for everything.